How do humans produce speech sounds? Let us trace the path of the speech sounds as they travel from the lungs, larynx, through the vocal tract, and see how these speech organs work together with a mechanism that takes care of the flow of air, airstream, to produce the sounds. Look at the diagram below. Speech sounds start with inhalation, that is, breathing in air into the lungs. Then, the air is forced out in a controlled stream through the larynx, commonly known as the Adam's apple. Note that there are two passages through which the airstream could pass, the oral cavity and the nasal cavity. In the oral cavity, this airstream is controlled by the vocal organs, some of which are movable. The lips, tongue, jaws, and the soft palate, known as the villum, and the others which are fixed, teeth, alveolar ridge, teeth or gum ridge, hard palate, and the pharynx's back. Then the flow of air, flow from larynx, passes through the glottis and into the vocal tract. The larynx is a box made of cartilage across which two strips of muscles lie. These are the vocal cords or vocal folds. They produce audible vibration as the result of air being forced through the glottis, a narrow opening between the vocal cords. In the vocal tract, the flow of air, airstream, is modified by means of several articulators. Active articulators, example, the lips and the tongue, which can affect the airstream, and passive articulators, example, the teeth, the alveolar ridge, the palate, the velum, which serve as contact positions for the active articulators. The production of speech sounds through these organs is referred to as articulation. Articulation produces two different types of speech sounds, consonants and vowels. Consonants and vowels are the basic segments of speech that form syllables, then words. Please turn to page 11 for the general guidelines. The following general tips will aid you in the learning process. Number 1. Think of vowels and consonants as sounds, not letters of the alphabet. Number 2. Be familiar with the pronunciation symbols and their keywords. Number 3. Consult the dictionary if you do not know the meaning of the word. 4. Know the kind of English your dictionary is adopting. The pronunciation in this book is consistent with the American English sounds. Number 5. Listen very well to the examples in the CD. And six, practice.